I have a 55-gallon aquarium with about 10 African cichlids, for males and 6 females. One of the males, a light blue imbuna, is the so-called tank boss. The tank boss spends most of his time hidden in the fake cave rocks. When he sees a competitor, he often emerges from the cave to chase them away. The tank boss believes that the entire tank is his territory. In fact, experts recommend housing at most only one male cichlid in a 55-gallon tank. They would prefer a much larger tank, perhaps a 175-gallon. Notice that I have arranged two piles of rocks on either end of the tank. The tank boss moves between the piles. The organization of the rocks is not a coincidence. Right now the tank boss is in the left side rock pile. When he is in his cave, he can only see the left third of the aquarium. Other fish can peacefully inhabit the right two-thirds of the tank. Out of sight, out of mind. Now I've sped up the video to 8x. You can see the tank boss spending his time on the left, coming out once in a while, but really ignoring the right two-thirds of the tank. I've explained why I made two rock piles. What about the thick collection of fake plants in the middle of the tank? Also not a coincidence. Notice that many fish, typically the females, like to hide in the plants. The tank boss doesn't waste much time patrolling the plants. If the females are carrying eggs or fry in their mouths, it is very important for them to have a hiding spot like this. Because they don't eat until they spit out the fry, they are greatly weakened. The more they can conserve their energy, the better. You know that the tank boss is the blue imbuna, who is second in command. I believe that the beautiful red dragon peacock cichlid now fills that role. The red dragon peacock replaced a red-shouldered peacock, who recently died. While the tank boss hides on the left side rock pile, the red dragon peacock patrols the tank. Notice that he stays high in the tank, avoiding the tank boss. Here, the tank boss emerges from his rock, and the red dragon peacock is nowhere to be found. All my female cichlids are peacocks. Interestingly, I don't believe that the tank boss has ever mated with a female peacock. I've raised many generations of fry, and I believe that only the now deceased red shouldered peacock was mating with the females. However, if you look closely at the plants, you may see a light colored female. She is a female red dragon. She has spawned once, and I'm not sure who she mated with. Now that the red shouldered peacock is dead, I believe that the red dragon male will do the mating. He is second in command, and I believe that he will have time to comfortably mate when the tank boss can't see him. So to summarize, I have a strategy to manage cichlid aggression in my 55-gallon aquarium. I make two piles of rock caves on either side of the tank. The caves face outward, so the tank boss can't see the other fish when he is hiding. I also added a thick collection of plastic plants in the center of the tank. This is a very safe place for the females to hide, which is important when they are pregnant. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments your experience with managing cichlid aggression in a small tank.